Yeah, all right. Yeah. Let's just start with shots now. Okay. I need it. Yeah. I need it. Fortification. Yeah. Oh, awful. Terrible. Hey, we watched Cobra. Yeah. Classic. Classic action movie. Classic Stallone movie. 1986. Sylvester Stallone, Bridget Nielsen. I think this is where they met. Probably. They probably got married. Dear the making. So much fucking. So much chemistry in this. So much. Man, I was. I could feel it. You can tell the way she was uh, getting her pictures taken. How she was turning down the one dude. <laughs> she was meant for Stallone. You could tell how she was coming on to him and Stallone looked completely bored. <laughs> Completely disinterested. I like tomato soup. <laughs> <laughs> now why? I think this is like this is definitely an action classic. Yeah. And I don't know if we really even have to go through the whole plot it's because there's much, really not. No. Yeah. You've got a. I, here's what I like about how simple it is. You have a cult, and all they do is they show. A bunch of dudes standing in a warehouse banging axes, axes together. together. You see them use it like one time. Yeah. One is. time. Something that meaningful to them. Just once. And they all have a little skull like a little tattoo. With axes on them. And then there's a, in the news they're talking about there's a killer that's out. A serial killer. Night slasher. Night slasher. Yeah. yeah. Night slasher. I think so. For a second I was saying it was Night Stalker. I'm like, oh. That's weird. They already caught this guy, but okay. Right. And then I was like, oh, okay. Night, night, night slasher. And uh, so, but it turns out it's this cult. They're not, they're running around killing people. They basically just jump random people. And that are weak. The weak people. The strong survive. The weak die. I mean, four of us roll up on you. You're going to die. Of the night. <laughs> Just unannounced. Not many gonna survive yeah. that. <laughs> Unless you're Cobra. Yeah. <laughs> it's too fast and loose. They all don't like his the, methods. Yeah, they surround the car and then the main dude, this kind of goony guy you've seen and stuff before. He's I can't been in everything and everything. He was high, he was the villain in, I think, the first Highlander or the second one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we never watched one of those. It's it's long. It's a long one. I don't mind. But if we do two, we have to do the original version, not the Renegade version. Okay. We'll look into yeah. it. Because the Renegade version, they took out space. You don't want that. Yeah. No. Got to have the weird space in it. But back, back to Cobra. Weird. Yeah. yeah. And, and then the guy, he just kind of goes and he kind of cuts him up. You know, and he's got his big stupid knife. Yeah. yeah, Cobra. He's a rebel cop. Yeah, the rebel cop. Zombie squad, or whatever the fuck they call it. Yeah, them. bottom of the line. He's just there for when they need dirty shit done. But they don't like his method. But they still have him doing it. But we still need it. Yeah. We don't like it, but we need it. <laughs> and he's just, you know, Stallone playing a... Uh... Stallone's always good. He, he's, he's got such a presence... And he just sort of saunters around. He's got his fucking matchstick in his mouth. Yeah, the matchstick. Just the downside with him is, which most of his other movies, you can't really understand it, but half it, it just, the audio just wasn't mixed well, so it was like low at certain parts for him. Yeah. And you're like, what? But. Really need to have it blasting yeah. loud, but we couldn't do that. No. no. But. That it's, baby. It's Stallone at his mumbling best. <laughs> it's yeah. Just... <laughs> he had a fascination with food. It's weird. There was a lot of weird food stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that's... I like that. <laughs> I think that's Stallone, because Stallone wrote the movie. Yeah, he wrote the screenplay for it. It's, it's based off of the... the it's like, yeah. let's just... Let's put a bunch of weird food stuff in the the best. I guess to my try favorite, to make it seem more real. Yeah, my favorite is when he's cleaning his gun. He takes the the slice of pizza yes. out of the freezer. Okay. <laughs> cuts, cuts it with it. scissors, and, and then he's just eating that piece little piece. I I well, always love that part. He was he was talking about a diet. 
yeah. kind of with uh, what's his name. He's like maybe that's hey. what it is. Yeah, he's like this is all my calorie myself. intake for the day. Thirty calories. From he this. was he was uh, he was a lot skinnier than most of the other movies. Yeah, I yeah. mean this is early Stallone. He's he's definitely a lot smaller. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, and then his his buddy, they him and his buddy got this thing. His buddy likes snack, just eat snacks, sugary snacks, snacks all the time. and candy. Once you once you introduce some meat to your diet, nah, I don't like that. They're in Bridget Nielsen's <laughs> hospital room, and she's half eating the food. Yeah, and then they just start like, eating. You want this? He's like, you want this salad? It's got like some cheese sort of stuff in it. Some cheese? Oh yeah, it's <laughs> great. It's just like I they mean, just oh, start eating good. all their leftovers. She's food. just sitting there, just. Traumatized still. Yeah. They're just <laughs> talking food around there. Yeah, so Bridget Nielsen <laughs> sees one of the murders, so she becomes the the focus of the movie. It is so dumb to me. It's just like Well like before that she she about I guess well, I don't know. Would you say the dude was gonna rape her? He propositioned her because he's like Yeah, the photographer was like have sex. It's not really for me. It's for you. Oh yeah. I mean, no. It, well, it's not rape. It's just you know what's what do you call pay for play? You pay know, for it's, play. It's yeah. like I want to move on up in the world. Yeah. It's like place. I I gotta help you. Yeah. Uh, you want to go get dinner? Like, I, yeah. I'm doing this as a favor to you. This is. I mean, I'm not gonna enjoy this. Sex. Everything in Hollywood <laughs> seems to be there. Yeah. I mean, Music that's industry, been Hollywood, ever. That's the way it yeah. is. I mean fucking uh, the one that comes to mind right now and I can never remember her fucking name Hunger Games Jennifer Lawrence Jennifer Lawrence sucked off uh, Weinstein really yeah I didn't know that yeah okay yeah. that's how she got her start Hunger Games well no whatever movie however, oh, whenever she oh, okay. you know X-Men that's how she you get in but she got in unless she was in something else really. like almost every actress got in that way oh yeah because there's there are dime, hot girls in Hollywood are a dime a dozen yes you know it's like it's not like and, I mean Jennifer Lawrence is a good actor oh yeah we're, we're not but, saying that yeah we're yeah. not saying she's not a good actor but she did suck dick but yeah during that time that's what she had to do apparently to get these parts and be a star it's still I mean yeah. it's still that oh, yeah. way yeah <laughs> anyway Bridget Nielsen yes I like Bridget Nielsen yeah I, I don't I don't know what the thing is with her why everybody was like that I, I gotta have that she's well she's got well in Red Sonja I would say it's because she's so big yeah she's six one. But like she a, has a very distinctive look. Like I a, think she's hot. Like an Amazonian yeah. oddity or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, I do that once. She's big. She's toned. Yeah. But she, her acting in this is it's not bad. Yeah. She she doesn't have that. Her accent is is gone because she does have a weird accent. I don't remember. Oh yeah, she's she from some another. She's country like from before. France or something. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. I think she she does well just playing the kind of the, the, the scare, damsel in the distress the damsel in the distress that's pretty horny like she comes right on this alone immediately oh yeah she's like what do you do for fun do you do women <laughs> or something like that. like I don't know I'm like it's I got my gun people that get close to me get hurt that's that kind of thing it's a Spider-Man syndrome I can't I can't date anybody because they get hurt yeah mm. A lot of great action in this movie. I, I haven't seen this in a few years, and I, I was definitely, I was like pleasantly surprised. I'm like, oh yeah, this is it's good, old school, really good car chase. Scene great too. car chase. Yeah. I mean, at one point, you know, it's a shootout. They're 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 running from the the cultists. The guy's got the double barrel shotgun. Yeah. And there's they had to drive between two gas tank tankers. Yes. <laughs> Semi tankers. Perfect. One, one barrel shot to each. the one blows up. <laughs> one barrel to the other blows up. It's awesome. You know, it's it's really it's got a lot of good you know, the kind of ramped cars flying into the air and tumbling over. A lot of good we, motorcycle stuff. So we did go over like why the occultists were going after Bridget Nelson. Because she saw him one time. Yeah, that's this the whole reason. Whole yeah. group of people. She saw the one guy stand in the road. She didn't even see the crime. She just yes, saw him just standing. Yes, saw dude standing by a van. She'd gone on with her life. That's it. She didn't care. Nobody would care. You said, oh, okay. Raided a hospital. They took over an entire town. 
hundreds of these fucking dudes just. I mean, if they were that worried, one sniper. Yeah. Or even wait till she got out of the hospital or something. I don't know. It's, yeah. It's, there was no reason for it. Like, yeah. The reason <laughs> things happen is really dumb. It's really stupid. They but, had a sniper. You see, they have a sniper. He's yeah. not that good. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he tries to get shot, he's like, oh, he walked to the side. I can't get him. I can't. Oh. He jumped in the truck bed. I, oh. I can't figure out where he's at there. He stepped to the right. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Damn. Get away this time, Cobra. Uh, Cobra. <laughs> he's wily dog. Him. He's got some maneuvers, that one. <laughs> Got anything else to say? I mean, it's it's very straightforward. Yeah, yeah there's not much to it. There's no. When I was trying to like read up a little bit of it online before, it seemed like there was more story to it. But there isn't. It's it's just yeah. It's I mean, just you've seen a dozen movies like this. Yeah, yeah. It's just. But it's it's the details yeah. that make it right. Oh yeah. The, the kind of quirky little shit. The the. My fa- yeah, my, well, some of my favorite parts is when it's the two cops. You're crazy. You're just crazy, Cobra. You, you shot him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He killed five people and was sh- about to shoot at me. What yeah. do you expect? Yeah. Well, criminals and the, have rights. So. <laughs> yeah. <And> the, <laughs> the whole thing where he's like, they, they think it's a single serial killer. Oh, yeah. And they're having this big argument, and Cobra's like, no, this is an army of people. Yeah. And like, that makes no sense. Why? And they'd already been attacked <laughs> by all these people. You know, like, all these dudes attacked him at his place. He did killed you, all these guys. Did you not get my report from earlier? <laughs> That I was attacked by ten people at my apartment. He already killed all these people. They still don't believe that it's an army of people. It doesn't. Like why? And it's then like, I ran to the hospital because there's more people over there doing yeah. shit. Oh, and then there's the thing where you have the the, the cop the cop lady. Oh is, yeah, she's the inside. She keeps yeah, she's, she's telling the she's telling the cult where they're going, where they're taking Bridget Nielsen. Yeah, I never liked her. She just has this face. It's the hair in the face. I've seen her in other stuff, like, later on, like, more recently, and she just... Really? Awful. Yeah. She, she looks even worse. Weird to see it. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to see that. No, no, no. Why? Why do that? Stop putting ugly people on the screen. <laughs> What's the point? Maybe she did the Harvey White scene. She must have... Har- Harvey was a bit drunk. He's like, look. Look. She must have ate Harvey's ass. You want to be in a Stallone movie? <laughs> you want the big pot? Eat my ass. You're going to have to eat my ass. <laughs> All right. Good movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good movie. Great explosions, good action. Um, Story game. A whole lot of people getting murdered. Yeah. I love it, that, that kind of big final battle where they're in the town, the small town. Oh, yeah. And, it, and they're like, oh, they're coming. And they run back into the hotel room. And <laughs> just, just like every guy that people. runs up, he just murders like <laughs> half a dozen dudes in literally five seconds. Yes. Just immediately. Just the night before when he set up, I was hoping it was going to be that night, but he's like, no. Nope. Nope. You know what's bed. annoying? He had all these hand grenades. You stepped away for a second. Yeah. And there's only one time he uses it. When right. they're in the warehouse at the end, or in the big, like, industrial building, he takes one of the hand grenades and, and like, stuffs it into the side of the wall. Oh, he used it before that, too. It was uh, when they were at the little sleazy motel thing, so he used it. As he was about to go into the truck, he throws it at one guy. Oh, really? I, I missed it. <laughs> yeah. He hits one guy. Okay. Instead of a lot of people, just one guy. So the other one, yeah. he puts it on the wall, and then he goes upstairs, and he waits. Two guys come out. Yeah. Instead of just shooting them, he shoots the grenade to make it explode. <laughs> like, that's not the point of a grenade. <laughs> I mean, a grenade, the reason you use a grenade, you're in cover and you can't aim at, you, so yeah. you shoot, you throw it over. Throw it out. You got too many people around you. You throw it yeah. around the corner, down the hallway. 
<laughs> it's just yeah so waste grenades yeah I will give that but but still the action was uh, oh yeah top notch top notch classic 80s action definitely definitely uh, <laughs> but yeah. um we get to uh, oh. scoring here I guess yeah we'll do that okay thank you awesome, awesome. thanks Put that there for um that. I'm gonna give this a 3.5. 3.5. Part of it's going to be mainly because of the mixing of the audio. To I, it felt like to me there wasn't enough action. In this. I kind of wanted there to be more action. Yeah. There was more action getting like towards the later half of the movie. Yeah. That's about it for me. Like. I got a taste of the action in the beginning with the, the supermarket, and then there wasn't that much left. It was just like, in between that, just random killings and then whatever. But I, yeah. to me, I wanted more action, more Stallone action. Okay. So that's why I'm giving it a 3.5. I, I have to go 5 again on this. I. I, I get what you're saying, yeah. but I, I feel like the the big fight at the end, the car chase, and then the fight mm -hmm. at the end is is a kind of action you don't see anymore. Yeah, all practical effects, all just car jumps, explosions, people getting murdered. Like the motorcycle stuff is really good. Like oh, yeah. dudes getting shot, flying all over the place. The bikes going over here, yeah. slams into one dude. All this kind of stuff. It was done really well, and I also want to point out the final fight between Stallone oh, and yeah. uh, our, our cult leader. You've seen him in everything. I, I think his name is Brian Thomas, is what it is, or Brian Thompson. Something but, like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where they're in this factory, this industrial thing, and they're the you see these hooks coming around. You automatically you know, you know like, yeah, okay. Because he looks at him, he's got this chain thing. So, yeah. yeah. They're fighting. Dude's got a knife. Stallone's got the chain. Yeah. But of course, the hook comes around. Stallone throws him on the hook. The guy's screaming on the hook. After he gave this speech about... <laughs> this is where you know this movie has an agenda, too. Yeah. You can't kill me, man. There's, there's justice. justice. You're a cop. Yeah. You're a pig. I'm, I'm just here because Stallone's yeah. got his gun on him. He's yeah. got a knife. So you can't do that, you know. After they have, like... Stallone has already killed a hundred of these guys. And this is where he gets soft for a second. He's like, maybe I should bring him in. You murdered a like, hundred... I am a rebel cop. <laughs> yeah. What is one know. more? What is one more at this point? A guy with a knife <laughs> in his hand. <laughs> like, you've been fighting everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Stallone throws him on the hook. And then the hook carries him. I don't know what kind of factory this is. Nobody knows. There was just one security guard. Yeah. He saw two white bitches running, and he's like, you crazy white bitches get out, and he dies. <laughs> he gets <laughs> shot immediately. <laughs> the guy is alive, still on the hook. Yeah. And then he goes into these, like, flames on yeah, the like, side. Yeah, like, weird thing. And something he gets see, barbecued. Like, he just in, rolls yeah. through and gets barbecued. He would see this in, like, Doom or something. Some weird shit. Just, yeah, just random fire that has no reason to be. Hallway of fire. Yeah, <laughs> it's no it's reason. Fire. There's no reason for this. At all. You don't know what they make there. That's the real question in this movie. What do they make in that factory? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I've seen. Remember, um, Night of the Demons Two. I think yes. Where they, there's the crematorium. Yeah. And then they, like, there's that scene where they hide and, and then it rolls in. I can't remember what happens. Anyway. But oh, it looks kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, but it's a hallway. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> five, five buckets of popcorn. <laughs> Classic action from the 80s. Oh, yeah. Stallone, Bridget Nielsen. Um, that yeah. one dude. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're into if you're into old school action, you've probably seen this movie. Oh, definitely. But no, if you no haven't bad. seen it in a while, you should see it again. Check it out. Yeah. They can get like I bought that three pack, whatever, like twelve bucks. There you go. But yeah, Cobra. Get Cobra. It.